I've got cats going completely crazy, so you may see cats like zooming around in the background. They're all having like a big insane game. No doubt they'll stop now. And make me look stupid. Anyway, hello and welcome to reading challenge number 34. And of course today we are talking about The Causal Angel, which is the final book in Honey Raj and Amy's trilogy which some people call the Quantum Thief trilogy and some call the Jean Le Flambeau trilogy. Um, I just call it Honey Reg and Amy's trilogy because ain't nobody got time for that. So to briefly recap where we were with the Fractal Prince, we had gone to Earth with Jean Le Flambeau to the city of Sia where of course he meets Tawa Dude and they are looking for something that is hidden out in the desert and Tawa Dude is also trying to solve a mystery and everything goes horrendously wrong and at the end of the Fractal Prince when everything's gone horrendously wrong um, not to spoil too much because I won't say how but Miele and Jean Le Flambeau have gone in separate directions and Earth is in a little bit of trouble which is where we begin with The Causal Angel it's really difficult to say a lot about these books without spoiling them um, a lot is explained in this final book. A lot about how everything's happened. Let's just say Jean Le Flambeau finds out more about himself than he particularly likes. Um, it's quite a catastrophic book in a lot of ways for Jean Le Flambeau. And also for Miele. Um, I would say out of all the three books, they go through quite a lot in The Quantum Thief and The Fractal Prince. I would say in The Causal Angel, more happens to Jean Le Flambeau and to Miele personally and sort of within the context of the action than in any other of the books, which is definitely saying something. This is full on action and full on just despair. Every time you think they've got some kind of solution to the, the, the sort of bind they're in, it either doesn't work out or somebody else's machinations get in their way. In the end, the sort of denouement of this actually brings it to a lovely full circle and I can't again say a lot without giving stuff away. From my recollection of The Quantum Thief and my closer recollection of The Fractal Prince there is not one loose end that is left untied in this book. He brings it all together, it all makes sense it is all explained. It is superb. The ideas are just tremendous. Everything about these books is marvellous and I could not recommend it any more highly. Uh, if you like science fiction in any way, shape or form, there is no way that you can't love these books. They are everything that is wonderful about science fiction. And that's all I'm going to say. That's that. Read them or else. Next Friday I'm going to be talking about a book I read over the summer and I am so excited to finally get round to talking about this book. I've had it on my schedule for ages and I've just kept looking at it and thinking oh, I want to talk about it, I want to talk about it. Because um, it's a modern take on magical realism and I love magical realism so much and oh my god this book. Oh. The book in question is Signal to Noise by Sylvia Moreno Garcia and um, if you want to hear what I think about that tune in next Friday and until then thank you for watching. Bye bye.